hello it's Saturday morning it's a quarter to 12 and in 15 minutes a maths tutor is turning up at our house and it's messy but worst of all it's messy in here I'm gonna have a quick tidy up for 15 minutes Ta -da! it's amazing the difference 15 minutes makes okay it's still a bit messy but you know it's better than it was I'm actually excited about the maths tutor coming she's very nice we've only had her once so far and she's fitted us in at quite short notice actually and I'm really glad it's this side of the holidays because it'll all be fresh in Izzy's mind the things that she's had stumbling blocks with so it's really good yeah are you excited for your maths tutor sure looking for my lip balm oh priorities eh I had no idea. So that was a really big crack on my lip. Oh. That's a split. So I want to lip balm it. Oh. The tutor's been and gone. It all went very well. Isabel wants to show you her new coat that she's finally Correction, got. Correction, mummy asked, can I film you? Yes. And I said sure. Yes, here it is. The only problem with it is it's really thin and it's not waterproof. Yeah, but it's nice. Oh well, you'll have to wear a thick jumper underneath and take an umbrella. Look how thin this is though. Look seriously. <laughs> it's like a dressing gown for outdoors. Like stylish. And we've got Dad here as well. Oh, there he is. Bonjour. Oh, very good. He's bilingual. Yeah, I have French speakers that watch this vlog, you know. Right, Dad and Izzy have now gone out and I can tell you about the maths tutor visit, went really well. Isabel had literally just flagged up with little sticky flaggy note things. Hang on, I'll show you. So this is Izzy's maths folder. This is the programme of work that we're working through for the first term. And I've made little categories in all the tabs, just following those categories. And as Izzy's been working her way through them, for anything that she's been stuck on, she's literally just put a sticky tab on it. And sometimes I've put a sticky tab on it because I've marked it from the marks game and it's been slightly different, but I thought it was okay because she just hadn't rounded. So I was just ch checking that that was okay. And it was okay because they hadn't specified by how many decimal points things had to be. Anyway, so basically she spent the hour going through all the questions that had a little sticky note on it. And they were all very straightforward and simple and as he got them all really quickly and also she started work on perfect squares with her as well and Izzy just apparently got it straight away she said you can tick that off now as long as she's got the concept tick it off move on whereas like I was thinking does she need to do loads of drill exercises in the concept just to help to reinforce it but the plan is with maths is to get all the curriculum done in four terms so that she's done it all by Christmas next year and then spend from Christmas to the exams themselves as a revision period. And this is my aim for all the subjects that we're doing. Hopefully that's going to work. <laughs> but right now I've got to get to the post office and post a parcel, which I haven't quite put together yet. And I've got to just send a couple of Christmas cards. I'm literally just sending two this year. One of them's not on social media at all. And the other one, well, I just always want to send her a Christmas card. <laughs> That's it, really. Right, that's my very little pile. There's an address under that, that thing. If you're wondering what this thing is, I commissioned my mummy when I was moving into this house to crochet me some coasters for hot drinks, and she did, and they're lovely. They're lovely texture, they're sort of cottony they are. And, oh, they made a lovely present. <laughs> and when you inevitably spill a bit of tea on them, you can just machine wash them and they come out lovely. Though that said, I would recommend darker colours just in case it stains. There's another one. And another one. Now what I could do with is ones that are just slightly bigger to put dinner plates on. But right now I'm going to get my trusty shopping trolley and I'm going to get some festive bits of food from local shops to start stocking the Christmas larder a bit. It's just started raining. I don't believe it. Oh, it's rained every day every day for weeks and it's dark out already that dark and it's only three o'clock i hope i catch the post office it is solstice tomorrow so hopefully it'll start getting lighter again soon well my christmas food 
fancy bits and bobs shopping turned into just buying more presents <laughs> shopping. I got some biscuits in a fancy box. That's about it, so I'm going to have to go back out later. It is quarter past five in the evening, and as you see, I did not film very much while I was out shopping. Dad has now gone, and Isabel and I are about to embark in something which is half really exciting. <laughs> Isabel is excited because she's making paper chains. But these ones from Tesco's are really rubbish, aren't they? They do not stick. They're like as sticky as um, like a post-it note. Stickiness. So they just keep going undone. So you're reinforcing them, aren't you? Using a bit of sticky tape at the moment. Yeah. There's also a stapler you could try. And I think the Pritt stick might be a bit incompatible with the already sticky bit. I'm not sure. But you could try all methods, couldn't you? And while she's doing this, this is the annoying bit, isn't it, Izzy? Sorry. I'm going to uh, read some biology because we just need to revise it. And she's just going to kind of listen and look over at diagrams occasionally and we'll chat about it. she has got a new guitar on the go. <laughs> Very Can nice. see my sellout world tour. Actually, you can't see it because it's sold out. Beautiful. I know. <laughs> that tune was called Paper Chains of Fun. It's number one on the charts. Not as much fun as <gasps> plants, animals and fungi. It's definitely Ooh. more fun. <laughs> Look, Isabel's been getting busy with the paper chains. More have arrived. Going crazy in here. Oh, we've got a gap there, look. Oh no. This book is great. It's just what we needed. It's written in really simple kid language. Sorry I'm a bit red looking. I just had a bath and I got into my pajamas. Yeah, you know most textbooks are a little bit more difficult to understand. They're not written in everyday speak language. Well this is so I'm really pleased that I came across this up in my bedroom the other day. It does also come with this exam practice workbook, by the way. That was 6 95 when I got it last year. And the main textbook is 6 95 as well. Or it was last year anyway. I am so tired. I feel how he looks at the moment. <laughs> I'm fit to drop. Thank you so much for watching today. Do give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down any thoughts below and hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.